Hey guys and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this series we are currently making a 2D space shooter. It's a mobile platform game that can be played on both Android and on iOS. So in the previous video we set up our UI as you can see. In this video we'll be taking care of the player character movement that is moving the character left and right. So with that being said let's get started. One of the things we forgot to do in the first video, we should rename our spaceship to spaceship character because this is our character that we'll be using and firing our bullets out of. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add a rigid body to this character and we're going to be using a rigid body 2D. So the reason we add the rigid body 2D is just to give our player character some movement and some physics so that we can add movement onto it. Cool, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our script. But before we do that, we need to download a asset and it's a free asset from the asset store. It's called the Unity Standard Assets. So we're going to click on the Unity Asset Store. We're going to search for Standard Assets. And if you don't have it downloaded already, your button will show download because I already have it downloaded my button will show import so we'll just click on that this is going to take a while okay so this is our standard asset package now I don't need all of this here because we're not going to be using all of this we just need a few things so the first thing I'm going to do is uncheck the sample scenes collapse that uncheck the standard assets collapse that and we're going to go all the way down to where it says cross cross platform input. So we're going to scroll down and we need the scripts from there. Okay, so we'll just grab the entire scripts folder for now. Uh, so because it has some other things that you might need just to scale your project up a bit. So we're going to click import and it should be done. We can go back to our scene view and we're just going to go in our spaceship character in the rigid body 2D and we're just going to freeze the Y position because we don't want our character to move up and down we just want it to move left and right which is on our X axis so now that we're ready to create our script let's add component and we'll click new script and we'll name the script move character because that's what we want to achieve and I'll just double click this. Mine will open up in Visual Studio. Yours might open up in Mono Develop or any other tool or IDE that you're using. Okay, so there you have it. This is a basic C Sharp Unity script. What I'm going to do now is first add in a library that we're going to be needing and it's called using Unity Standard Assets dot cross platform input. We're going to close that off. So we're going to need three things, okay? We're going to need three uh, variables. One is going to be a rigid body 2D. One is going to be the X direction that we want to move in. And we're going to need a float for the move speed amount. So let's create those three variables. We're going to make them all private. And we're going to just call this rigid body 2D RB. We're going to create our float for the uh, X direction that we're going to be moving in. Uh, we can just call this X direction. And the last one we're going to need is a move speed value. So I'm going to set the default speed to 5 for now. But you can change it to whatever you need. So I just must out the float here. That should be good to go. So in our start uh, method or in our start function, I want to grab a hold of the rigid body of my space shooter character. So I'm going to say RB is equal to get component and rigid body. So what is this going to do is it's going to go in my character because the script is attached to that character. It's going to get a hold of this component and it's just going to store it in the variable RB so that I don't need to use uh, get component and make my code but untidy in the bottom I can just use RB. So the next thing I'm going to do is 
is remove this and we're going to be using void fixed update and whenever we're using uh, physics in our game uh, it's a good practice to use fixed update in this case actually we're going to be using fixed update you might uh, want to use update in your project for whatever reason but in this case we're just going to stick with fixed update so what we're going to do is we're going to set the x direction equal to cross platform input manager dot get access because we want to get the axis that we want to work on and that axis is called the horizontal so that's our x axis so we can just type in the horizontal and we're going to multiply this by our move speed we're going to close that off the next thing we want to do is actually set the velocity of our uh, space shooter character and we want to give it some movement so we're going to say rb which is our rigid body 2d and we're going to access the velocity component we're going to set it to a new vector 2 and the first parameter we're going to give it is our x direction and the second parameter is obviously zero because we don't want it to move in the y direction at all we're going to close that off and we're good to go there so we head over back to unity we can now select our button left control button we actually need to do one more thing we need in order to make this left button work we're going to say add component and we're going to add the button component on it now it would have all of the functionality of a normal button what we're going to do next is we need to add a script onto this button and that script is from our standard assets the one that we just imported and it's called the access touch button so let's do that quickly we can just drag and drop this in here then what we want to do is because we want to move left on this button we're going to set this axis value to negative one we're going to set the response speed to 10,000 and we're going to send the return to center speed to 10,000 as well we're going to save that and we're going to do the exact same thing for the right control we're going to add in our button script and we're going to add in our access touch button we're going to do the same thing because we're moving right this will stay at one the response speed will go to 10,000 and the return to center speed another 10,000 we'll save that one more thing that we need to do before we move forward with this in order to get our uh, cross-platform input working we need to go into the file go into build settings we need to go into the player settings of that over there and we need to go all the way down in other settings go all the way down where it says scripting define symbols and you should just paste in this line of code or what I just say text and that should make everything work nicely so let's close that off let's save our work Control s or you can go to file and press save and let's play our game and see what happens okay so now that we're playing our game let's click right here you see our character moving nicely to the right and it moves nicely to the left but you might notice that we have a problem our character moves out of frame and out of our screen so what we want to do is we want to bound this character to our screen so that it should stop there and it should stop somewhere there just before it goes out of our screen so let's do that let's stop this we'll click on our character spaceship character go to its inspector and we're going to add in one more script so we'll go new script and we'll call this screen bounds We'll double click this to open it up okay and all we're doing for this to bound our screen we're going to say in our update method we're going to say the transform dot position the position of our our spaceship character is equal to a new vector 3 and the first parameter we're going to give it is a math dot f or math f dot clamp this is going to clamp our character to whatever uh, parameters that we give it so the first one is we're going to pass in transform dot position x if you hover over clamp you see that it takes in a float value a float minimum and a float maximum so for the float value we're just giving the current value which is our transform dot position dot x for our minimum we're going to say uh, oh well i found this is the best value that works for me negative 2.4 f 
and the maximum would be 2.4f. Then we're going to give it the same transform.position y and we're going to give it the same transform.position z. Or if you want, you could just put 0 and 0 for all of this instead of typing transform.position.z and I'm sure it should work. Okay, so we'll just save that. If this is too much of code on one line, let's just split this up a bit. We should bring that into the next line. And we'll go back to Unity and let's see if everything's working fine. Let's play our game one more time. And now you see, if I move right or if I hold this button down, it would clamp to the screen. I move left, it does the same on the other side. So now I'm happy with how my character moves. We can start working on the fire button or shoot button and for that I'll see you in the next video.